where to start? <laughs> Ashley Ertz. I am a music major, oboe performance, and this is for the chamber music master class with David Schifrin, who is the clarinet teacher at Yale and was playing with the Alexander String Quartet. It was really awesome that SFSU was able to get David Schifrin to come and coach us because he's like world renowned and the fact that we're able to get these kind of players to come play in our master classes, to come play in our concert halls is really amazing. My name is Lucas Bailey. I am a junior at San Francisco State, majoring in clarinet performance. Um, the higher the caliber guest artists, the higher the caliber of the concerts every music student gets to observe. And having a person like David Schifrin here, it, it's a very good reminder of why we're all here, why most of us are here, and that's to perform music professionally. And he, he it's kind of, it's very good to see that, to see someone that's already doing that, and, and to have them talking to you about how to make that happen. You can make it easy on easier on yourself. Uh. There are fingerings that are, that'll hold the sound in the piano better. Absolutely, yeah. Hello, my name's Sandy Wilson. I'm cellist in the Alexander String Quartet, and I'm one of the four directors of the Morrison Chamber Music Center's instructional program. I think that one of the things that's so helpful um, about this is that um, we have an opportunity to see mastery at this level so accessible. And I think one of the prevailing impressions that I take away from this is to see how relaxed and comfortable and welcoming and how relieved the students are when they discover that these icons in, in, in their field are so accessible and so friendly, also so modest and understanding. These are real heroes for many of these, these students, but to have such exclusive access in, in such a lovely setting, I think, is an unforgettable experience in the formative stages of these emerging musicians that we're training. My name is David Schifrin. My words of encouragement are to always remember why you're playing music and that I assume it's because you love the music and you enjoy playing. And understanding that there are many ways to have a career and to have a life with music that can take many different paths. Practice to get better and so you can enjoy the music more and the rest should take care of itself. It happens all the time we try to sue, uh, tune. If you think you're playing in tune, hold your ground at least at first. It's like trying to, to, to balance on a tightrope during, during an earthquake or something. It, it, it's, not, it, it's shifting beneath you.